guys. Special thanks to the ladies over at Eastwood tonight. Welcome back in. Our game night live broadcast on the WTOL YouTube page was Otsego against Rossford. Otsego has been the clear-cut best team in the Northern Buckeye through four weeks, but they haven't won a league title since 2005. So would that change tonight here at Rossford? The Bulldogs lost a heartbreaker last week on their home field against Eastwood, trying to bounce back tonight. Otsego 4-0, and they came out firing in this thing. First drive, Joseph Jirwa to his brother Noah Jirwa. 23 yards for the score. It's quickly 7-0 night. It was 14-0 here, and Rossford would answer Alex Williams to Jonathan Kellermeyer, 17 yards. Extra point, no good, so it's a 14-6 game. But the Jirwa to Jirwa connection was unbelievable. Joseph threw for over 400 yards. 198 of them came to his brother Noah. Joseph, five touchdowns, also ran for one. They won a league title for the first time since 2005. 59-28 was the final. It's great for these kids, these coaches, the community. You know, the support's awesome around here. Um, you know, it's a lot of hard work paid off for these guys from day one to June. Um, you know, I'm proud of them. You know, it all started in June and August. We worked hard and we knew if we wanted to get the chance to play, we were going to play hard and play fast and physical. So we wanted to be one of the best teams in our league. All right, huge game in the tack. Northwood looking to lock up another league title, making the long trip west to Eden. Jay Moten had a great year so far, expecting more tonight. Second quarter, 30-14, Northwood on top. Rangers on their own 27. Moten drops back, has nobody open, so he says, all right, I'll just take it myself. It's fine. Makes a couple moves, 73 yards down the field for a touchdown. That's still second quarter. Moten, this time, going to stay in the pocket and launch a pass. Right down the seam, Caleb Brogia juggles it, but manages to haul it in for a 61-yard touchdown reception. Northwood is rolling, and then you just have to hurt for Eden here. Watch this, second down and goal from the five. Drew Gallahu, desperate looking for an open receiver, tries to squeeze it in, but it's picked off by Brogia. He is gone. A 100-yard pick six, give or take a few yards. Better story if you say it's 100 yards. Running clock the whole second half. Northwood wins a tack title, 62-20. John Monk has more. Jordan, this is officially the farthest west you've ever sent me, but the hour plus drive was worth the price of admission to see the show that Jay Moten put on here in Eden. Six total touchdowns, four on the ground, two in the air, leading the Northwood Rangers to a 62 to 20 win. Um, it means a lot, uh, we work hard. Uh, this is what we wanted, three peak, uh, can't ask for nothing more. Have a good season. So for us, I mean, that, that was the biggest goal right now. We're not looking at anything two or three weeks down the road. You know, we're just trying to go a week at a time. You know, we're playing some young kids all over. We've got some great seniors, but we're having to mix some young guys in. We're just trying to keep them focused on what they've got to do week to week and do their job, play to play. And the win here tonight gives the Northwood Rangers at least a share of the Tech title. That's their third consecutive win over Cardinal Stretch next week gives them the outright title. Reporting from the Indiana border, I'm John Monk, WPOL 11. Oh, John, I promise I'll keep you closer to home next week. Sorry, man. All right, the other stop of the tack tonight, Ottawa Hills 3-1 on the road at Montpelier. The locomotives ready to defend the home turf first quarter. Green Bears opening drive. Matthew McGee rolling to the right, lost a nice little pass out there to A.J. George, who slides to make the first down catch. Later, same drive. Isaac Taft again. The sweep. He's in. Green Bears up 8-0. Then still first quarter, Green Bears again from the 49-yard line. A beautiful pass. McGee to A.J. George. He's got some space. He would go all the way for the touchdown. Green Bears move to 4-1. and one. They win on the road 34-8. Always a good one here. NWOAL rivals Patrick Henry and Liberty Center getting together in Hamler. Good start for the Patriots. Play action. Ryan Kurtz looking deep. Fires down the middle of the field. Finds the senior, Clayton Feehan. Shows off the speed from there. He is gone. 74 yards for the touchdown. Patrick Henry leads it 7 0. But Liberty Center answers right back next drive. Cam Krug, play action, looking deeper. Trey Patterson, the senior, strolls in for a 37 yard score. Liberty Center wins it 35 21. The big Archbold Wasion showdown is a week away. Tonight, the streaks at Swan, Homecoming King, Trent Weigel, and the Queen Dottie Curvin all smiles. First quarter, Archbolds. Coming up with a big play here on the defensive side. Caleb Hogreep, he was mad at me last week because I showed his fumble. This week, a pick six. There you go, buddy. Next possession, Noah Gomez gets the space here, and he is gone. 40-yard touchdown. Ron Archbold would stay unbeaten. They win it 45-7.
and the other unbeaten in the NWOAL, Wasion at home with Delta. Connor Penrod always comes ready to play. Drops back for the pass here for the Indians. Sends on to Jonas Tester. Takes a shot. Suddenly, Breyer Matt comes away with the football for Delta. They would call it a fumble recovery for the Panthers. But the Wasion offense would not be denied. Later, Penrod zips a pass to Jude Armstrong, who catches it for six. And then Wasion near the goal line again here. This time they run up with a senior, Tyson Britch, who dives in for the end zone. Wasion stays unbeaten. They win it 35 to nothing. Liberty Benton 4-0, Arlington 4-0. This one tonight for at least a share of the BBC title. Opening drive of the game, LB's Ben Spies drops off for Drew Baker. Makes a few moves, jukes out a couple defenders, breaks a tackle. Eagles up. At early on, seven to nothing, and they weren't done. Very next drive, Spies passing again, but this time airing it out. Drops it right between the numbers of Alex Dillon. Liberty Benton gets the win on the road. They remain unbeaten, 21-14, and clinch at least a share of the BBC title. All right, that's going to do it for us. If you missed any of the highlights or if you want to share them on social media, we will have the entire show posted over on our WTOL YouTube page. Thanks to everyone out here at Rossford for having us, and thank you for watching Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. We'll see you back next week.